welcome back to Karma Life Readings. I hope you guys are doing great. We're going to go ahead and jump into it. I thank you for clicking on this video and coming to my channel. If you're new here, please make sure that you subscribe, hit that notification bell. If at any time you resonate with this reading cancer, go ahead and hit that like button. Remember to take what resonates and leave what doesn't for someone else. I'm currently doing a giveaway. You can find that giveaway on the community tab of my YouTube channel. The winner will receive a free 30 minute reading from me. Winner will be announced April 30th. If you're interested in a personal reading, you can go to my website. Website's in the description box below. All right, Cancer, let's see what's going on. <clears throat> and what is the energy that is surrounding you, please? What is, what is the energy around Cancer? What do they need to be aware of at this time? You have comfort. You could be seeking comfort or needing comfort in a situation. You could be struggling with coming outside of your comfort zone. Yeah, rest. You've got disruption here too. Hmm. Death. And then you have happiness on the bottom. So I feel like you are taking a, a pause here. <clears throat> Something is coming to an end. Some could have been rejected as well. And I feel like you're in the process of trying to cleanse your energy from a situation that was creating chaos and or disrupting your peace. And so spirit is giving you a little bit of an opportunity here to kind of find and reflect with comfort and rest on um, what it is you need to do to end that energy because whatever it is it's trying to get in the way of your creativity and your happiness here all right um we're tapping in also to sacral energy so creative energy life force energy sexual energy so uh wanting to be careful who you're connecting with sexually because this energy could also highly affect you clearly all right, let's get into this here. What is the current energy, please, surrounding cancer? You have the four of cups. You're not too happy with the situation right now. You're kind of bored, feeling a little bit discontent. You feel like your happiness hasn't been brought to you. I would be careful that you don't miss out on an opportunity. What's falling away and what you need to let go of is the emperor. Oh, too many. So this could be just con controlling situations, right? Needing to always control a situation, but we'll get into it. What do you need to develop and what is your soul gift? The four of swords. They want you to rest, 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 rest. They want you to take a break. Healing. What does cancer need to be focused on, please? The Ten of Swords. Dang, there is really some that is being removed from your energy. Is is a death, is transformation. The Five of Cups is the outcome. On the bottom, you have the Seven of Cups. There's a lot of um, illusions, confusion around you. I, I feel like you're surrounded by some people that create, yes, Lord. Seven of Cups, the Five of Wands, and the Devil. I mean, this is nothing but conflict, but lies, but manipulation, competition, arguments, temptation. Somebody has some very bad habits that just continuously creates toxic environments and toxic uh, relationships around them, okay? Always feeling like you're making the right choice, but it ends up being the wrong choice. Paying attention more to the people that you surround yourself with and what their values are, what they stand for, okay? Why is the Four of Cups here, please, for Cancer? Forgive me. Why is the Four of Cups here, please, for Cancer? Overload. You're stressed out. You're overwhelmed. Justice. Could be dealing with a Libra or Aries. But something has you stressed out. And then fate. Could have to do with family. Somebody could be... Um, feeling bullied by their family or you could have an abusive family or just a toxic family environment here somebody that you could have kids with a relationship with is toxic okay now the reason why you're feeling discontent and bored is because you're overwhelmed and stressed something is happening in excessment 
in your life. It just keeps on happening over and over. The reason why with this fate card, because remember fate and destiny are different, this karma, especially with justice, this is a karmic lesson. It's trying to get you to wake up and snap out of a perception belief that has had you asleep in a certain area for a long amount of time. And that's why you're stressed. You got the number 11 and 10 here. So you are at the crossroads to make a decision about your new beginning. All right, you also have the number 67, which gives me 13, which gives me four. It's about your stability. It's about your alignment with other people. It's about the harmony in your life with relationships. There could be a death that took place, Cancer. Um, yeah, I'm getting goosebumps when I say that. In your family that may have... Um, really triggered or been a catalyst to this healing but it's take it's taken some time clarify please what's the current energy clarify this person of water that's you Ooh, like you feel like you've hit the mother load of problems it's like setback after setback, blocked change. You keep trying to change something and it's not changing. Like you feel like there's too many, nobody's recognizing your achievements or your growth. Cause there's just, yeah, look at this. It's like a whole relationship just went up in flames. You got kerosene and soulmates here. Something just went up in flames, just ignited on fire. Okay. And then there's this other situation where Somebody hears the real deal. And I don't, I feel like that's a separate energy than what I was just tapping into. I also feel like you're trying to do too much. Like you're just trying to be everything for everyone and you can't. You've got to be everything for yourself first before you can even remotely figure out how to show up for, for other people. All right. So what is uh, falling away from you and what spirit wants you to let go of cancer is the emperor. Why? You got gift, friendship. You've been holding on to something for too long. This could be a friend group. But this, the, the, the reason why they want you to let go of it is it has to do with controlling something here. Or like always needing to be in charge or the head of the team or the one who's, you know, like I'm the one who does everything. Because you're stuck. This is, I feel really sad. I feel like there's a friend group that has to be released or a friend or something like that. Like you're all of a sudden realizing like this is just going to keep me in the same cycle, in the same situation over and over again. What is this about for cancer? Wow, this was, okay. Yeah, healing. Restoring oneself, emerald, growth. Balance, alleviating oneself from suffering. And there it is on the bottom, birdcage. You feel trapped, you feel stuck. There's somebody here who's extremely possessive and refusing to let go. And again, this could be a friend group, it could be somebody that you're in a relationship with, but it's not, it's not conducive for you at all. It's just creating bigger messes, bigger hassles, bigger problems. So there's, there's something here about somebody making up an entire story here or making up a lie to try to see how you're going to respond. Sometimes you got to let go of control in order to gain back control. And I kind of feel like that's what spirit is teaching you how to do. Because whatever it is, it's not going to end up the way you think. Because the rest of this, this reading is about letting go and the end of something. The four of swords, the ten of swords, the five of cups. Clarify, please. Why is the four of cups here? Humble yourself. And this person or situation is very unstable. 
and they are being found out, lies will be exposed. Dang. You could be dealing with legal issues here, divorce, jail, contracts, like something is, is pay attention to your friend group. You got a warning here. You're being stretched by God. Like there's a whole thing taking place where you're learning and seeing people for who they really are. I don't feel like this is something that's easy either, but you're recognizing patterns. Like why does this keep happening? All right, what you need to develop is the Four of Swords, the ability to disconnect, pull back, isolate, meditate, and heal yourself. It's about self-love. You can't heal yourself if you're always go, go, go. You have to have a phase in life where it's just you, right? And even if you have kids, that's the only way that you can truly rise from a situation and have your perception shift and change here. What is this Four of Swords? Protest in reverse. Spirits like, stop fighting against what's, what's going on. Fight for your peace. Because somebody was, something was inadequate here. Here you go, vow. That's what spirit wants to happen. Look at this, everything I just said. Self-love, live and learn, vow. Like, make a vow to yourself. Stop fighting everyone. Stop, and I'm not saying you are, but even in this situation, it doesn't matter. What matters is that you reach your goal, that you stay committed to whatever it is that you're trying to achieve. And if nobody, if somebody in your, in your energy cannot see that and they're not supportive, then they got to go. What is this please for cancer? The score of swords for what they need to develop. Clarify the four of swords. Yes, spirits like we want you to stand still. Refinement, taste, like refine yourself. Your taste is going to change. Your perception is going to change. Because the reason why you need to pull away from a certain energy or group is because the Holy Spirit is trying to draw out all of the toxic energy entities, spirits that you absorb just from being around this group or these people. They're trying to reduce what has been infiltrated in your energy so that they can refine you and show you who you really are. You can step into your power. But this is something that develops over time. Yeah, wheel of karma. Cause and effect in the process of cycles. But I feel like, I feel like something is coming to an end, which you could see it as a painful ending, but spirit is trying to tell you this is just the beginning. We're trying to get you on a new path on a new cycle Taurus Gemini energy here Virgo energy you have a very uncommon bond that's that's coming your way this spirit is trying to develop in your life but there are other people that don't want you to experience that around you there's somebody here who has tunnel vision and they create confusion this person has a lot of victim mentality and it's almost like this person is out of touch with reality as well. I don't know who that's for. <clears throat> Spear wants you to be focused on this Ten of Swords. They want you to focus on this ending. They want you to focus on this cycle. This flow. I'm getting goosebumps as I say this. And I understand um, that this may be something very difficult that you're going through. But they want you to focus on this so that you can come out of the pain a different person. So that you can alchemize this energy. Yeah, trap. Get out of the trap. Something was trying to keep you stuck. Somebody's playing victim. <clears throat> Look at that curse on the bottom. This person wants to keep you manipulated, wants to bring... Whatever they bring with them, it's always chaos. And there's always something here that's just not truthful. Look, natural disasters, chaos, frustration. They want you to put an end to situations that keep you stuck. It's almost like someone here is in survival mode and they feel like they can't get out of that. You're going to have to take a risk and do something completely different and outside of your comfort zone. 
in order to get the peace that you're looking for. You're breaking a generational curse. There could have been, I'm, I'm telling you, there's an energy around you of this person who is trying to create some type of misfortune in your life. There it is, disturbance. These are the entities and the energy that I was seeing a minute ago that's, that you're absorbing just from being around these people. That makes you feel sick, exhausted, tired. It's spiritual warfare. It's not, it's not a game. There could have been an accident or be careful. Somebody could be wishing and praying. Yeah, fury, they're angry. Somebody could be wishing and praying on your downfall or for you to have some type of accident. Okay, so please be very careful that rebuke that energy in the name of Jesus. You are covered in protected cancer. Don't don't accept that. That's crazy. But they want you to be focused on this because there's a betrayal here that's been revealed to you. Baggage, unresolved issues, trying to hold it together. Again, there's there's an energy here of somebody who really is prepared to go and wanting to go to the next level, but yet fear fearing the separation, not wanting to be separated, wanting to try to stay around in a situation that is not helping them at all. Somebody has to let go of the idea of a fairy tale here and see how everything was connected, why everything happened the way that it happened. It happened for a reason. This situation or event is happening right now. You need to look closer and be careful. Don't make any assumptions, but you do need to do like a thorough investigation and kind of read the fine print of the situation that you're involved in here. And really try to see it from a higher perception so you can see all angles of what's going on. Yeah, higher calling and purpose is lonely at the top. That's what this four of swords is, what they want you to develop. Be able to be alone. You're in the process. You could be moving jobs or home here and it's creating some type of conflict, but you are in the process of literally stepping into the life that you've wanted to build and create for yourself. And you have to believe in the impossible, but the only way to get there is by releasing some of these past energies. A loved one who has passed on protects you. But you need to practice detachment from a situation and let it fall apart and just be at peace with it. The outcome is the Four of Cups. There is going to be sadness. It's feeling like something went down the drain. <clears throat> Everything comes to an end at some point on this journey. And whatever you're dealing with right now, now, now is the time for this to come to an end. It wasn't wasted energy. It wasn't wasted time. There are still valuable gems that you can take from this experience that will help you along your journey and your path. But right now, something is turning extremely toxic and spirit is saying, you've got to humble yourself and see that this is unstable. And where you're going, these people or persons, they're not ready yet. Why is the Five of Cups here for Cancer? eternal love sadness again you were looking for consistency from somebody you were wanting to work on a situation with a particular person or group of people here clarify please stability harmony okay yeah origin adventure mm. I'm going to be honest with you. Whatever you were dealing with was a karmic situation. And what you're looking for is in the process of becoming initiated. Like it's initiating right now. It's beginning right now. It begins with this ending. And that's what's confusing because you may have thought that it had already begun. And these people or person uh, was to be coming with you. And they weren't this they were stepping stones to get you to where you're going. Clarify, please. And you are going to be okay. You have the number 22 here. 11 and 5. Biker. So you'd be on the road all the time. 
okay? Yeah, moving on. Lone wolf. Standing up for yourself. This could be through friends. You got brotherhood here. This could be through friends. Somebody was breaking the rules. They weren't. You also have Libra energy on the card here. Old car. It's, it's running its course. Old habits die hard. But you're tired and it's time to, to let this end. Family patterns stuck in the past. Dear John. There it is. Cutting cords. The end. Something is not working. And then you have unchanged on the bottom. This situation is unstable and is not likely to change. So now you have to make a decision. Leo energy, somebody's pride could be getting in the way here. You could be dealing with the Leo. Spend more time with children or your inner child here. You are healing. You've made great progress on this journey. All right, Cancer, let's get some closing messages for you guys and see what's going on. Judgment. I understand that everyone has their own unique path and challenges. Failure. I understand that a mistake is only an opportunity to learn. There you go. Surrender. I can release my need to control. Blame. I accept responsibility for my well-being. And loneliness. I know that I am never alone. On the bottom it says regret. I know that I cannot change the past. Cancer, I send you so much love while you're here um, on this journey at this particular part. I feel like you're in the process of really releasing some deep energy um, and some toxic energy and maybe even a little bit of toxic self-love where you're needing to, to fill yourself with the reminder and the truth that you are worthy. And it's okay to make mistakes. Um, it's just important that you learn from those mistakes and surrender so that the Most High can transform you and fill you. All right, I'm sending you so much love, Cancer, and I look forward to hearing from you guys, and I'll see you guys next week.